12, and that's it. Okay, so those are my first subscale items, and then I just have to click on this expectation maximization estimation technique, and then I go into EM, and uh, you don't have to comp you don't have to do anything here, but uh, you do probably want to save uh, your data set into a different name. I would always recommend you do that when you make any transformations to a data set, always save it into something else. Uh, so I'm going to call it subscale A, uh, no missing. Uh, and I'm going to click OK, and that's going to create a new data set which will not have any missing values for the um, subscale A. We can see the, the analysis was performed. There's some output here. You can look at it if you want. Um, and uh, it outputs uh, Little's MCR test again. I've already tested that previously. Uh, and um, we can look at the correlations. They're all pretty good. And um, uh, so this output's not of terrible relevance, but what's important in particular is this data set here, which it's um, it hasn't saved it yet, but it is calling it subscale no missing uh, subscale. I should have wrote subscale A there, uh, but I, I mistakenly didn't. But here are my items, and you can see that there are no missing values now. All the values have been inputted, and we can even see. Uh, let's check out one of the items that were missing. I don't know if it was actually from that. Uh, subscale or not, but um, let's look for something missing. There we go. We can see that um, 3A for case 20 is now going to be have a value. See it actually, the expectation maximiza maximization algorithm predicted that the value should be 3. For item 3A, uh, case 20 has a predicted value of 3. So there are no missing values at all. And we can see that's probably about accurate, because this person was scoring a bunch of 3s and 4s and, and 1 5. Um, so the expectation ma maximization algorithm looks like it works. Of course it works. I, I wouldn't have doubted it. Now, I need to do the same analysis for my uh, subscale B items. So I need to throw out my other variables that I've just done the analysis for. And I'm running Camtasia at the same time, and so my cursor is very uh, tough to navigate. And so it might look like I'm trying to do this while I'm drunk, but I'm not. So my cursor is blinking. Okay. So we'll put that in there. So I've got my subscale B items, and now I need to go into variables. Oops, no. I need to go into expectation maximization, and I need to change the name of this because I don't want to subscale B to create a new data set which has uh, no missing values as well. And here it's created again the subscale B uh, data set. All right, and so there are no missing values in this data set either. So now all I, all I have to do is actually combine my two uh, subscale that merge the variables together, and that's pretty easily done. I'm just going to go into data, merge files, and add variables. So I'm adding variables from the subscale A uh, data set, uh, actually from the subscale B data set into uh, the subscale A data set. And so this is what my data set's going to look like. All right, so I've got my 16 items in there again. And now I'm going to click OK. And so my, it should have been called subscale A, but I just mistakenly didn't. And so now I've got a whole data set again with my variables merged, 1 to 12. And then I've got item 4, 7, 11. These are my item B from the subscale B. So now I've got a total data set again, which I can save, which has no missing values at all. And so I've got a maximum power because my sample size stayed at 319. So that's how you use the expectation maximization algorithm in SPSS to replace missing values. I think it's really good. It's the second best approach. Uh, I think in most cases, it's probably the best approach because um, 
it's simple to use. The multiple imputation is a little more complicated, and it also makes it more complicated to do re uh, subsequent analyses on your on your data set. But it it's arguably the most sophisticated approach. Anyway, I hope you found this video video useful, and thanks for watching. HowToStats.com.